Lumbar Spinal Canal Stenosis. The lumbar spine is made up of five vertebral bodies in the lower back. Nerves travel through the spinal canal and exit through the openings on the sides of the vertebrae called the foramen. Here you can see the thecal sac containing the nerve roots and the nerve root going through the foramen. Here you can see the transverse process of the spine. Lumbar canal stenosis is a narrowing of the spinal canal, which may cause nerve impingement. It can occur in the central canal, lateral recess, or at the foramen level. It is a common cause of low back pain. Normal lumbar spinal canal is more than 150 mm. Degeneration of the spinal canal and thickened ligamentum flava will cause stenosis. Absolute stenosis when the spinal canal is less than 100. Degenerative changing involving the thecal sac, the facet, and the ligamentum flava will cause central stenosis. Lateral recess stenosis. It occurs because of narrowing and compression that occurs between the sac and the medial pedicle wall. It affects transversing nerve root. What causes it? Superior facet, facet capsule, and disc hypertrophy and degeneration. The foraminal stenosis affects the exiting nerve root. For example, if it happened at L4, L5, so it's going to affect L4 nerve root. It occurs lateral to the medial pedicle and you'll find that the, there's a lot of facet enlargement and overriding. We call it foraminal stenosis. Diagnosis. Back pain, leg and buttock pain from proximal to distal. Patient may complain of neurogenic claudication. Patient is usually neurologically intact. Radiological diagnosis. MRI or CT myelogram is important. The absolute stenosis when the spinal canal diameter is less than 10 mm. Lumbar spinal canal stenosis. Differential diagnosis. It's either a hip disease or a vascular disease. When there is a vascular disease, the pain starts distal to proximal. The pain starts in the calf or in the leg. The pain is relieved when the patient stops walking, and when you examine the pulses, you find they are either reduced or absent. The neuro versus the vascular claudication is important. Neurological claudication versus vascular claudication. The first one will be neurological claudication. The second one will be vascular claudication. In the neurological claudication, you'll find vague pain beginning in the lower back, proximal. The vascular, there are the tightness and the cramps in the leg, in the calf. It starts distal. The neurological is proximal to distal radiation, the vascular calf pain. The neurological is worse with extension of the spine, with the standing, and very rare with bicycling. The vascular, worse with walking, bicycling, and much better when you stop walking. Why that is? Because when you do extension of the spine, it narrow the foramen by 20%. It reduces the space available for the foramen by 20%. When you do flexion, you improve the size of the framing by 12%. That's why flexion is good for neurological claudication. In neurological claudication, uphill walking is less painful than downhill walking. In vascular claudication, uphill and downhill walking is very painful. Always check the pulses. Neurogenic and vascular claudication may coexist.
Bicycle test. The patient rides and walks a fixed distance. The patient with a spinal stenosis will show symptoms with walking but not while riding the bicycle because he's flexing his spine when he's riding a bicycle, so the pain improves. The patient with vascular claudication will have pain while he's walking and while he's riding the bicycle. Posture doesn't mean anything for a patient with vascular claudication. Treatment. Non-steroidal medications, physiotherapy, bracing, epidural injection, or surgery. Indication for surgery usually for persistent pain that's not improving by conservative treatment. Procedure. Laminectomy and partial facetectomy with or without fusion. Fusion is done for instability and for degenerative spondylolisthesis. All my videos and this video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.